And so the brothers of Yusuf السلام, they enter into the presence of Yusuf, the minister, السلام. And remember, they don't know that this is Yusuf. They don't recognize him as Yusuf, but rather as the minister. And they call out to him, Ya you Aziz, O minister, Masana wa ahlana wa jina bi bidati Hardship has affected us. And we come to you with a scarce amount of capital, of money. You know what would happen is, Yusuf Aysan, the minister, he would have food and goods ready for people because the drought, you know, affected people greatly. And so people would come to Yusuf Aysan and they'd give him money, they'd give him a ransom, and Yusuf in return would give, him, would give them food so that they could go and eat and, you know, feed their families and so on and so forth. And so the brothers of Yusuf Aysan, they come to him and they need the food. But they don't have enough money. They don't have enough capital. And now they're asking Yusuf, uh, you know, they're telling Yusuf, we don't have enough money. Please, O oh minister, just please give us our full measure of food, even though we don't have enough money. Please give it to us as a charity. And I want you to think back. These are the same brothers who threw Yusuf into the well. And all these emotions, all these thoughts are running in Yusuf's head, of course. These are the same brothers who threw me into the well, who because they threw me into the well and left me, I could have died, but I didn't. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala saved me. But because they threw me into the well and they abandoned me for no reason, I did nothing to them. I was sold as a slave. And then I worked under people for a large a number, of, a number of years. And after serving for a number of years, I was accused of doing something wrong. And I was falsely accused of doing something wrong and thrown into jail for it. Unjustly thrown into jail. And I served years in prison. And finally, after all that time, all that patience, now I'm in a position of power. And these same brothers who tried to end my life are now here. Asking me to be charitable to them, to help them, to give them a favor. And so with all these emotions and thoughts running in Yusuf's head, السلام, he bursts out and he says, <laughs> Don't you know what you did to Yusuf and his brother when you were ignorant people? And so these brothers are caught by surprise. Wait a second. Yusuf, wait, how do you even know that one second? Could this be? Are you really Yusuf? They ask him. Are you Yusuf? And Yusuf Aysam responds. Yes, I'm Yusuf. I'm that man, I'm that boy who you threw into the well. Who you tried to kill and now you're here asking me for a favor and these brothers they realize and they acknowledge what they did was wrong and they tell him <laughs> that indeed by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Allah has preferred you above us and certainly, for sure, we have been guilty of sin. Meaning they're, you know, acknowledging and understanding and realizing and admitting what they did was wrong. And so Yusuf السلام, who has the power to imprison these people, he can throw them into jail. You know, he can do whatever he wants. He's the minister. He could deprive them of the food, right? At the very minimum, he could just not give them a food and not give them, you know, their full measure. Don't give them the favor that they're asking for. And he has every right to. These are people who tried to murder him. I want you to imagine that you're in front of the man who tried to murder you or the man who tried to murder your wife or your sister or your daughter or your son or your dad. And this murderer comes to you 
and he still hasn't given you a, a, a he finally gives you an apology when he's asking you for a favor and you have the power to do whatever you want to this man what do you do <laughs> Yusuf Aisam says today there's no blame upon you don't worry about it Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will forgive you and he is the most merciful of those who show mercy Yusuf Islam chooses to be brave and courageous and he forgives these brothers and it is through forgiving these brothers he was reunited with the whole family later on we'll see in the story the whole family comes again together and they, you know the love of the family is reestablished So what we need to ask ourselves is what is stopping us from forgiving others?